I'm Leah Huber, Bunterra's chef and organic life aficionada, and I'm kicking off a series on cooking with wine. So I'm going to show you how to deglaze a pan. We'll start with some minced shallot, sliced mushrooms, and chopped rosemary. Then set a large skillet over medium-high heat and let it get nice and hot. Swirl in a good amount of olive oil and let that warm up too. Then add the mushrooms, shallots, and rosemary with a pinch of salt and pepper and give it all a good toss to coat with oil. Let them cook for 10 minutes or so until the mushrooms have released their juices and then sucked it all back up again. And don't mess with them too much, just toss them a few times. You want both the mushrooms and the pan to be developing a sort of savory layer. At this point, add in some minced garlic. We're adding it later so it keeps more of its punch. See, this is what you want. There's nice color on the mushrooms and a good amount of golden brown crust stuck to the bottom of the pan. That's called the fond, and it's loaded with flavor, which we're gonna unleash when we deglaze the pan. Now this is when you wanna pour your wine in. Not a whole lot, you don't want the mushrooms swimming in it, about a half a cup. Now the key is to use a stiff spatula to scrape up all the stuff stuck to the bottom of the pan, which the wine will help to release. So the cool thing about this deglazing technique is you can do it with almost anything. You can do it with broccoli, you can do it with sugar snap peas, you can do it with shrimp. And the important thing to remember is to pair the weight of your wine with the weight of the food that you're cooking. And to pair the flavor profile of your wine with the general flavor profile that you're going for in your dish. Now let the wine burn off and thicken up. It'll turn into a sort of savory syrup that's just crazy flavorful. And it's gonna coat the mushrooms as you toss them. You could use these mushrooms in a frittata, or with pasta, or polenta, or even on a pizza, or alone as a side dish. They are really, really, really super versatile. One of my favorite things to do with them, though, is to turn them into a super simple appetizer by spreading toasted baguette slices with goat cheese and topping them with the mushrooms. Doesn't get much easier than that. The best thing about cooking with wine, though, is you get to drink it, too. Go to bonterra.com for more recipes and fantastic wine. Cheers.